Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming again, and I'm most excited because this is really my favorite video to be filming ever because who doesn't like to talk about their favorites? And that's what I'm going to talk about. It's not necessarily my monthly favorites because I think it's been a little over a month since I have done one of these videos, but it's definitely a current favorite. So I have skincare, I have makeup, I have a little bit of hair care, I have a food item, fragrance, jewelry. I mean, it's like a big mixture of everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I'm going to talk about are these fabulous new earrings and ring that I'm wearing. If you are new to my channel, you may not know that I am a brand ambassador for the brand of jewelry called Ana Luisa. I absolutely adore their jewelry. If you search my channel, you'll be able to see past pieces that I have received and purchased from their brand. This section of the video is in collaboration with them because I am a brand ambassador. And every few months, I just like to bring you new pieces. I like to show you um, my choices. You can kind of see how my style has evolved, how maybe it hasn't because I really like the pieces that I like and it just shows my personality. So many reasons why I love Ana Luisa. I've talked about how I love their earth consciousness. They are carbon neutral. They're a fantastic company. They make small batches. So you're, you're guaranteed to always have something different come out and they just have a really, really good selection. I feel like for me, compared to other brands that I have tried in the past, they just always seem to have things that suit me. I've talked about in the past that I'm not a very loud jewelry wearer. Um, I'm not someone who's big on costume-like pieces. I prefer dainty jewelry. This just goes with my personality a little bit better and they, totally deliver on that. So I'm going to show you the couple of pieces that I have, and I'm also going to share with you some fabulous news that they are having a site-wide 20% off sale, which is so good. I don't think since I've been working with them, they've had a discount this large. So definitely take advantage of that. I will have my link down in the description box, but let me show you what I have added to my collection. So these beautiful earrings are called Catherine. They're a multi-paved pyramid is how they describe it. They're little hoops and they are trimmed with cubic zirconia. They're sterling silver, but they're dipped in 14 karat gold. So I will do a little close-up. The close-up was not really working. So let me take it out and show it to you that way. Look at how pretty that is. It's very lightweight because it's small. It is gold, but I feel like the cubic zirconium give it that really nice sparkle to where I would almost, I mean, I would feel comfortable wearing this if I was wearing other silver jewelry. Some people don't mix. I've gotten to the point where I don't care. I mean, if I'm wearing gold and silver, I'm wearing gold and silver. <laughs> but again, super lightweight. I feel like my ears have stretched out a little bit over the years, so I don't like anything that's very heavy. This is not heavy at all, and it goes with everything. Since I have discovered Ana Luisa, I have become a ring person. I never was really into rings other than my wedding ring. It just never really crossed my mind to add that as a piece, a jewelry piece, as I'm putting on the rest of my jewelry for the day. But I have really gotten into rings since I've discovered Ana Luisa. And I think one of the reasons is, is because they have so many adjustable rings that you don't necessarily need to know your size for. I've always been a little apprehensive of buying online when I need to know my size, even though they do have a great sizing guide on their site. But I have so many adjustable rings from them that I love. This one is called Laurel. So it is a, what they're describing, a duo ball ring, classic and contemporary. But as you can see, I don't need to have the exact size. When I first put it on, it was a little large, so all I did was squeezed it together to where it formed to my own finger, and now it's a perfect fit. The good thing is, though, that maybe today I wanna to wear it on my middle finger, maybe tomorrow I wanna to wear it on my ring finger. I can adjust it and wear it wherever I want. So that is Laurel, I love it. I love the kind of illusion that it gives. It's like almost like a floating ring. I, just, I love that so much. I love every single ring that I have gotten from them. All of your pieces come in nice velvet pouches, which I keep because these are great for travel. 
So many good things about this brand. I know a lot of y'all have gotten pieces since I've started talking about them and love them. If you have not, or if you want to add to your collection, be sure and check out the 20% off sale that is going on right now. And you can find that link in my description box. All right, let's start out with skincare, shall we? I have two things for skincare. The first is one that you actually put on your face. The second is more of a body care. This I got in, I think a boxy charm, possibly, I don't even know when, a couple months ago. And I ran out of one of the other oils that I was using and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go. I love this brand. This is by Pharmacy and it is the Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. It's white packaging, so it might blow out a little bit, but hopefully you can get the gist of this product. I've used quite a few things from Pharmacy in the past. One of my favorite is their Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I'm not a real big cleansing balm fan myself, but that particular product worked fabulous. I actually went through probably three tubs of it. It says it's for all skin types and it delivers intense hydration and helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It has buckwheat honey, which honey is great for antioxidant properties, healing properties, really good to have in a skincare products. It's got sea buckthorn oil and a five flower oil blend. Hibiscus, rosehip, evening primrose, cramb, C-R-A-M-B-E, and sunflower. Now, this does say, in the description that it is a fast absorbing oil. However, when I look at the reviews, a lot of people do not like the fact that this tends to sit on the skin. I will say, and I don't know if it's gonna come through. I mean, see how it's almost doesn't drop. It just kind of, a stream comes out of it almost because it's so thick. It is a very thick, intense hydrating oil. And because of that, you may feel like it doesn't sink in that well. If you have a problem with that, if you're someone who really wants your products to fully sink in, this is not going to be the oil for you. I do feel like it kind of sits on top of the skin a little bit. It takes a, a few minutes to sink in. After that, I don't have an issue with it. I certainly do not wear this during the day. It would not perform well under makeup, in my opinion. But for night even on top of a moisturizer or in place of a moisturizer, this offers super intense hydration, which even in the summer months, I am finding I am needing. So if you have any skin type per the brand, but to me, normal to dry skin, and you want to add a new oil to your routine, this is beautiful. The second product that I'm going to talk about is more for body care. And this was sent to me by First Aid Beauty. I had tried this in a smaller version before and really liked it. So I was very excited to get it in the full size. This is their KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA or alpha hydroxy acid. So KP is keratosis pilaris, which I think we have all heard of either by that name or by the name of chicken skin, because it basically forms small bumps on the skin and in my experience and you know talking to other people it typically happens like on the top of your arms and on the back of your legs that's where i have it the worst um, and i feel like as it gets hotter outside it gets even worse so when that temperature started rising 80 and above i mean i just started getting lots and lots of bumps now they weren't as noticeable. Sometimes they're more noticeable, sometimes they're not, but they just don't feel good. It doesn't lend to like super smooth looking skin. So this, I've tried a lot of scrubs. Let me just say that. I've tried a lot of scrubs. I've tried a lot of lotions. This works for me. Now, it's not an end all, cure all, be all, all, okay? It's not, to me, curing KP. What it is doing is it is really exfoliating. Like that 10% AHA that's in here along with the physical scrub really exfoliates well. I have to keep using it. It's not something that I can use a couple times and then just like that, it's gone. I do have to keep using it, but I feel like even if I use it every other day or every third day, it really helps keep that KP down. And then they also have an, a corresponding lotion, which I don't always remember to use. So I only want to talk about this because it's the one I've been using the most. So if you have KP, I would give this a try. First Day Beauty 
really rarely ever lets me down. And I'm really, really thankful they sent this to me and that I was able to add the full size to my collection because I will continue to get this. It has worked really well. Now, a couple of hair care products. I do feel like I've talked about these in the past because I did get like a sample set of them. So maybe I did talk about it, but it's been quite a while. I went through many other shampoos, as y'all probably know, because I tend to tell you about them as I try them, before I decided to just go ahead and buy the full size of these because the site was having a sale. So this is from Colleen Rothschild, and it is their Quench and Shine Duo. So this is the Quench and Shine Restorative Shampoo and the Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. So again, I had gotten these in sample sizes before and really like them. A little bit about my hair. It is very, it's up today because it's very dirty. It is very fine, very fine. I don't have a lot of it. So it tends to look like I just don't have a lot of hair or that I have thinning hair. We've all heard it if you've been watching my channel. It's probably the thing I am most self-conscious about. So not all shampoos work for me. I can't have anything that's for super obviously thick hair or even curly hair because I certainly don't have curly hair. I can't have anything that's going to be weighing my hair down, but then I also don't want it to strip my hair. And a lot of the clarifying shampoos or the volumizing shampoos they might give me volume, but in turn, they strip my hair of all its natural oils and start making it look brittle. So I have a very hard time finding shampoos and conditioners that I enjoy, especially because I only wash my hair twice a week. So I need something that's going to keep my hair clean. I mean, obviously I will use dry shampoo, but I don't want something that's going to make my hair dirty within a day because I need that to last three or four days before I wash it again. And I find that these do that. So the Quench and Shine shampoo, I don't, I mean, it's moisturizing. I use about three pumps every time I wash my hair. Might be too little, might be too much, but it's what works for me. Love it. Smells fabulous. If you do not like a strong smell in your shampoo, do not get this. I have heard some people say that they feel the smell lingers. I don't really feel it lingers. I've used some shampoo before where I feel like, why even use a perfume? Like I've got it in my hair. It lingers. People are going to be able to smell it from an arm's length away. I don't feel like that. Like if Chad gives me a hug or something, he might smell it. Oh my goodness. But as you are using it, it smells so good. And I really don't have a clue how to explain the scent other than it smells good. Now the hair mask I use as my conditioner. So I do use this every single time that I wash my hair, but you're going to be able to see it looks like it hasn't been touched. I use maybe like the tip of my pinky from, I use about that much every time I use it. It is very concentrated. You don't need enough. I have never used this as an actual hair mask. I'm sure it's fabulous. Sure smells fabulous, but I do use it as my conditioner. It is not too heavy. I only use it from like right here down. It's just fabulous. I feel like I'm going on and on and on, so I'm gonna stop talking about this, but I have really been enjoying this. I feel like Colleen Rothschild is always having some kind of sale, always. And I do think there's quite a few people on YouTube that have uh, coupon codes that last forever, so you can you know check those out as well, but I have really been enjoying those. Now I have two makeup products that I'm gonna talk about. And they're from Jane Iredell. If you don't know, I work full time for Jane Iredell. And I know some people aren't crazy about the fact that I'm not talking about other makeup. I get it. I know a lot of you love Jane Iredell, as I do. So I had to talk about these two things. The first is the brand new Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow Primer. This is an addition to the Smooth Affair line. So they have the regular Smooth Affair and, or the brightening, and then the one for oily skin. I've talked about the brightening many a times. I've gone through probably three or four tubes of that. This is an addition to make it like the perfect trio. Nothing has changed with the other ones. Same formula, they're not going away. I know a lot of people have been scared about that. This is just an addition. It's in beautiful white matte packaging. I love the packaging and it is, such a pretty pearlized glow, but it's not too much. It's almost, it's a lotion-y texture. So if you're familiar with the brightening formula, it's more of like a serum texture. Both are very hydrating. This has mica, which is gonna give that really pretty pearl finish. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is great for moisturization, plumping of the skin. And then it also has shea butter, which, 
And this formula actually helps the makeup stay on better. So I don't know if you can see, this is the hand with the primer and this is without. It's not like 10 man luminous, okay? You're not gonna feel like you can be seen from space. It just gives a beautiful sheen and y'all, it really helps the makeup stay on. I'm not kidding. I feel like my favorite combo is this with the Glow Time and the Amazing Base, but I have used it with the Liquid Minerals. I have used it with the Beyond Matte, which I have on today. I have used it with just the powder foundations. It works with everything. And I have talked to a lot of people with oily skin who say they love this. It's almost kind of blurring too. So even if you didn't want to wear makeup, it'd be great. It's become my new favorite. Of all the three of them, it has taken my number one spot. So that is the Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow. I have been able to try some things out that I had never tried from the brand, which shocker, I know. Like, I really thought that I had tried almost everything. But this is a single shadow, which I love. I did not wear it today because that would have made sense. <laughs> but I have used it or worn it in some recent videos. And this is the single shadow in the color Peach Sherbert. So it is just a peachy color with a very pretty sheen to it. Now y'all know, or if you don't, maybe you don't. Peach is my favorite. Peach eyeshadow, peach highlight, peach blush. It's my favorite. This has got that really pretty sheen to it, but it's not metallic, and it's just that perfect peach eyeshadow for me. I love this so much. It honestly could even be a highlighter. I haven't tried it like that, but y'all know Allure is my favorite highlight pretty much of all time. It's what I have on today, and it's technically an eyeshadow from Jane. But this is just, oh, I love it so much. And I don't hear the single shadows talked about a lot. I did a reel on my Instagram. If you aren't following me, be sure to follow me there. I did a reel using three other single shades. And it, they just, they work. They make pretty eye looks. And this is just one I think everybody needs. It's, it's my favorite. My favorite single shadow. Ooh, except for Allure. Allure and Peach Sherbert are my favorites. So definitely check that out if you have not already. Let's talk about a few perfume favorites this month. Y'all know I probably have way more than a few, but I have narrowed it down to just three, two of which are absolutely brand new. In fact, I bought them like two days ago. I just got back from a weekend getaway with my girlfriend. We were celebrating our collective 40th birthdays and we went to Asheville for the weekend. It was so much fun. And we went to a kind of little shopping area downtown called the Grove Arcade. And they had the sweetest little makeup slash perfume shop in there called Serenity and Scott. And so I purchased two of their fragrances, super nice people. The owners were there, just genuinely nice people who were very appreciative of us supporting their small business. So I got West, which the top notes on this are pineapple and suntan lotion, middle notes of coconut and base notes of vanilla and chocolate. So yes, 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 yes. I'm just gonna spray the box. I wore this yesterday. Y'all, this is like so good. It's a gourmand summer dream. You've got that chocolate, vanilla, pineapple, coconut. Oh, and then that suntan lotion vibe. It's simple, but it's so good. And it really is a little more complex than I thought it was gonna be after just testing it like on paper in store. I wore it yesterday and I do really feel like you can get that chocolate in the dry down. It's, it's very, very, very nice and it's it's simple packaging, but sometimes that's all you need. And again, sweetest people. So if I can support a small business, I'm all about that. And then this one is um, Night. So they have one called Day and this, this one is called Night. This is leather, incense, chocolate coffee, musk and vanilla bourbon. I mean, it's like they asked me what my perfect scent would be. <laughs> I have not worn this one yet, but that leather really comes through right at the beginning. And as it dries down on paper, I can almost get almost every other note that they list. The coffee's not too strong. I think it's just really something that supports the chocolate. Although I get it a little bit. 
Oh, it's good. It's good, good. So I like this one for obviously more a nighttime. And then the West is good all day, every day. They do have an e-commerce where you can purchase these. So I will put that down in the description box. And they also sell three milliliter sizes for $10. So they have two sizes. And this is the mid size. This is the 30 mil. And then they have a big mamma jam. I don't know how many mils that is. And then you can buy the three mil and it is a spray. It's not a, it's not like a dabber. So definitely check them out. And then I have to talk about this gem right here. This is the brand new fragrance from BDK. This is called Velvet Tonka. I purchased this the day it came out. Blind buy as a blind buy can be, but I knew that I would like this, not only because it's BDK and I tend to really enjoy their perfumes, but also because of the notes, okay? We have almond and orange blossom on the opening, tobacco and rose oil, not the biggest fan of rose oil, but all the other notes convinced me I would like this. And then on the dry down, you've got tonka bean, bourbon vanilla, amberwood, and amorous. I got this, I'm gonna spray it. This is gonna be my scent of the day. And I sprayed it on and I immediately fell in love because this to me is the best sugary powdered almond scent that I have ever smelled. That is what it smells like to me. It smells like a sugared powdered almond. Oh my goodness, it's so good. If you don't like a powdery perfume, move on. But if you do and you like almond and you like that gourmand vanilla powdery goodness, sugary, I mean, it has like almost like an icing sugar type of scent to it. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. And out of all of my BDKs, so I've tried samples. I have this, I have the Tuberous Imperial, and I have the Passoir in full size. This one lasts the longest on me like a very long time. Longevity is great. Siage is moderate. It's not going to walk in a room before you, but people are, are going to be able to smell it on you. And it just smells heavenly. So if you like a gourmand, if you like a an almond fragrance, if you like that kind of powdery, sugary goodness, definitely give this one a try. So good. BDK, mm -hmm. you knocked it out of the park. I don't think they had any question as to whether or not they were going to do that. It's fabulous. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is random and it is a tea. And I'm going to have to search my channel to see if I've talked about this before. Maybe I've just posted about it on Instagram, but this is from Tazo and I had run out of my tea. I usually buy my tea like on Amazon, um, which you can get this on Amazon, but I had run out of whatever I was drinking. And so I just popped into Kroger and looked at their tea aisle to see if I could get something to last me until my other tea came in because I do like to have a really piping hot cup of tea every night before bed. And this is the Dessert Delights selection and this is glazed lemon loaf. I think we've all had teas that claim to taste or smell like something and maybe they have like a little hint of it in there. Maybe they, maybe they don't. This one does smell and taste just like glazed lemon loaf to me. It is so good. So if you have a sweet tooth, I don't really have a huge sweet tooth. I mean, I love my sweets, but I'm not somebody who needs like dessert after every meal or anything. If you are that type of person and you like to have something sweet before you go to bed, I would try this because I feel like this is going to curb any kind of craving that you may have. Or if you don't have a sweet tooth, but you like glazed lemon loaf and you like tea, definitely give this a try. This is so good. I have tried a couple of their other, couple of their other, no, I think I've just tried the vanilla macaron one from this line. I think they have something else like a toffee blondie, which I really want to try. I didn't like the vanilla macaron near as much as I liked this. So, so far this is my favorite. If you have another favorite from the line, let me know. If you've never tried this, check out your grocery store, see if they carry it or buy it on Amazon. It is so, so good. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it was a large variety of favorites that I have been loving lately, but they truly are my favorites. Be sure and check out all of the information in the description box, especially that 20% off sale for the Anna Luisa jewelry. And I will link everything else that I have talked about down there as well. I so appreciate everyone who has stuck with me through this small transition in my life and on YouTube. 
you just make my life happier and brighter and are the reason that I continue to do what I can on this channel. So thank you all so much. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, and safe. And that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.